Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Chromebook Classroom. Today I'm very excited because my friend Stephanie is here with me and she's going to show us how we can really use these Chromebooks to help visualize mathematics. Talk about perfect timing, Stephanie, because this is something I think every math teacher wants to do regardless of the grade level they teach. And so do you want to introduce yourself and say hello this morning to everyone watching? Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie Mackay. I am the secondary high school math consultant. And today we're just going to play a little bit and give you some ideas on how to show some thinking in mathematics before we actually give answers away. I love this. And so we can really focus on that idea of process in addition to product when we can help to visualize our thinking in math. And I think you know, as we move towards digital materials, this got hard because we're so used to that paper. But you have some great ways that we don't have to worry about always having paper, always printing that off. We're going to be able to use our Chromebooks. You're going to show us on the teacher Chromebook, but students could actually completely replicate this on their own student Chromebooks as well, right? That is so correct. Excellent. All right. And so you're going to go ahead and you are going to share a couple of things with us. All right, so you have some exciting things that you're going to show us. We can do this on any Chromebook. Uh, what do you have for us, Stephanie? Well, we are going to use screen capture and inking to grab a piece of the image that we're showing students and then develop some of our thinking before we go ahead and get the answers. So we're going to start with a very simple product, which is taking a look at a graph and trying to figure out what the derivative would look like. And in order to do, that, to do that, we need to do some screen capturing. And on a Chromebook, a screen capture is a little bit different. I love that. The control, the shift, and uh, it's actually a window switcher key. I like to call it the slice of bread because it looks like you've cut up a loaf of bread. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to my actual calculator where I have graphed the function that we wanna take the derivative of. And again, what we need to do to take the screen capture is to press Control, Shift, and Trish, that extra key was called. It's called a window switcher key. I call it a slice of bread to take a slice of your screen. <laughs> so I pressed all three buttons, and you notice that I now get a prompt where I can capture whatever I want and go ahead and take that picture. And notice over here on the right, I get a prompt that says that the screen capture has been taken, and I'm going to select Edit. Now I'm in the editing mode of the screen capture. I'm out of my PowerPoint presentation, and my picture looks a little small, doesn't it, Trish? A little bit, but you have a way for us to fix this, right? Yes. Since I have a touch screen, I can just grab the picture. All right. And so now that we've got so, this blown up, we could just squeeze with our fingers. We can make that a little bigger. We also have some zoom keys there, uh, but you're actually going to be showing us the inking tool built right into this. Right. At the top of the screen, we've got this little squiggling annotate. I'm going to select that and then I can choose a, a color and I can make the and now I have the ink on the graph and provide my thinking. So when we're doing derivatives, we're concerned about slopes of little tangents. So you notice that I can draw the slope of the tangent all along the curve. And as there's my little segments for the tangents to the curve, over on the left-hand side, all of those tangents are negative. Down at the bottom, the slopes of the tangents would be zero. And then over on the right-hand side, the slopes of the tangents are positive. So we use, this in, we use this in calculus to sketch the derivative. So there's my thinking developed on a screen capture with inking. I when love I, this. I, and so you are just using your finger on the, the teacher Chromebook. You don't have to have a special stylus or anything. But anyone else, you, you could just ink with your mouse, right? Like it's not like you have to have a touch screen. No, you can use your mouse to ink anywhere that you want it. Fantastic. So, so now what I'm going to do done. with this. I don't need to save this. I'm just going to say done. I'm going to just toss it away and leave my inking. And when I go back to my calculator, here's how we can double check. I can type in what the algebraic function would be. And we can see that our 
idea of what we thought the derivative would look like was pretty close. And so students can compare that thinking. They had a conversation, they thought about it, then they graph it to see if they are correct. If, if students and teachers wanted to, they could have kept that picture though and put it right on their slide or their work to be able to have that comparison side by side too, right? Definitely, definitely they could. But we're just providing some options here. So that's kind of like your beginning standard for achievement, levels of achievement. But Trish, let's kick it up a notch. Okay? I love that. Less, always, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so now we want to get into sketching the graphs of more difficult um, functions and be able to check our work. So uh, on the Khan Academy, they actually have this really nice little activity that I have a link to that we're going to open up. And I just want to show you what is here and again how we can use the features of the Chromebook to make this a little bit better. This example, we've got a small little graph of the original function and as I scroll down, here are our alternatives A, B, C, and D for what we think the derivative might look like. So once again, I can go use the capture, the pressing those three buttons, I can capture this image and I can open it up to edit it and just again make it a little bit bigger and now we can grab that inking tool and I'm going to use my mouse and I'm going to select a color a little bit thicker and talk about what the slopes of those times look a little bit thicker. here again I've got some endpoints and we can see over at over on the left hand side now the slopes of the tangents are all positive on the right hand side the slopes are, are negative and right at that vertex up at the top the slope would be zero so here again is where we can discuss with the students maybe plotting some of those points we know what the slope of the tangent would be and do a just a rough sketch of what we think the derivative would look like so there's our guess trish all right, let's see if we're right. Let's see if it's A, B, or C. So again, we could save this picture or we could toss it away because we have an idea of what we think it might look like. We can come down and look at all four alternatives. I'm going to go back to the first one and select A. I think that is my answer. I can check it and look at that. I get instant feedback. We were correct. Now, what we can do is skip to the next question and repeat this process. That's fantastic. I love that we didn't have to print out a bunch of things. We can still use those digital tools that can help us in the classroom, but we still have the benefit of being able to write on something and showcase our thinking. This is such a neat way to be able to do it. You have even more supports for us though, right, Stephanie? If, we, if I'm a secondary math teacher, I wanna do even more. You have a lot of supports for teachers on your SharePoint site. I do, and all these calculus teachers would have to do is visit our math 10. So on our Mathematics 10 to 12 SharePoint page under Calculus, there are a lot more um, activities available to practice graphing derivatives and a lot more at, a, at an acceptable level, at a proficient level, and even at a level of standard of excellence. That is so fantastic. This is such a neat way to really showcase Mathematics. And what I love is that while you have shown us some great tools, I loved that app, that calculator app that you used right for the Chromebook. We're gonna give you a link to how to install that app below this video, as well as a link to Stephanie's SharePoint page. But really, it doesn't matter if we're math teachers or not. That screen capture and that inking on a Chromebook to think and visualize before we reveal an answer, what a powerful way to build understanding. And a little bit of fun. Yes, a little bit of fun. That's right. That's right. Well, Stephanie, thank you so much for being here with us today. And I know that teachers are going to be excited to try this in their own classrooms right away. Thanks, Trish. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time.